Hey guys, welcome back to episode 32 of Little Friends. Today we are going to uh, do more stuff in uh, Little Friends. We are going to continue what we started uh, in the previous uh, three or so episodes. So we are building uh, a little part or little side of Paris uh, near uh, Lyon. Last time we upgraded or redid the rail yard area and a part of um, Gare de Lyon station, train station. And there are some interesting buildings uh, right next to uh, this big rail yard. And uh, we are going to tackle that one plus a little park, Park de Bercy. And maybe a few little areas with some residential buildings and what not. Well, that's what I have in plan. And it's, quite, it's going to be a long plan. And because you guys do trust me, I know that. I'm going to show you exactly on Google Earth here what we are going to do. So, let me do a short recap. This is Gare de Lyon, which was done, but we had to upgrade the, uh, this rail yard from here. And we did it. Then we built the Ministère de l'Economie here. Nice. With this bridge and uh, this sunken highway. Uh, epi next episode, we did the Accor Hotels Arena here, this area, with a part of the ferry uh, stop here. And today, hopefully, you are going to see this Parc de Bercy with this passerelle. And uh, this side will not be done. And we do a part of this uh, residential area with these buildings from here. <laughs> Quite a big uh, area, if you ask me. But yes, it is going to be done. Okay, so we are doing Parc de Bercy. A part of it, a very small part of it. I'm using uh, the vanilla cool, uh, the vanilla pathways and I'm colorizing them with uh, the help of the uh, Network Skins 2 mod that gives you the chance to color pathways and some rows and whatever you want. So I turn them from that uh, reddish brick look, let's say, into a more grayish one, which is actually quite bright and a bit more white than I was thinking. Anyways, so I turn those pathways um, and change the color for them. I'm adding some stairs here because uh, uh, we are building the uh, that passerelle that I was uh, showing you earlier, and there is a road going through the through a tunnel through under this one under this uh, uh, future passerelle that we are building here. Uh, it's not proper, it's not like this, it's a tiny bit different than this, but I, again, if you know, I don't try to copy exactly stuff, I'm trying to take as much as inspiration as possible, so that's the reason why I'm not trying to do it exactly like it is in real life, but I'm just uh, trying to make some of the stuff similar, some not that similar. I did this tunnel here with help of uh, Ronix's tunnel, uh, little assets and I turned them into procedural objects and really quickly I managed to rescale them and properly arrange them there to look very uh, very nice. Now um, time to do the passerelle itself right and uh, for that I'm using the uh, some pl train platforms made by Titan uh, which are also turned into procedural objects so I can rescale them and get rid of the train stations and to be able to rise them from the ground and so on and to be of course more easier for me to work uh, with them. I, why I chose this well, it's because uh, this passerelle, and I'm going to show you very soon, it has a very, it's, a, it's an arch. It's an arch pathway going through the middle. And uh, this one that I'm doing right now, and I had to bend a road like that. And well, actually underneath this pathway, it's also another platform in real life, which is also curved. But, um, I couldn't do that, so I had to make it like straight, uh, like you see it right down. Yeah, probably most of you or some of you are going to comment about this. Hey, it's not realistic and it's not like that. Uh, the uh, this is not working properly. It will crash. Uh, yeah, it will crash on the river and whatever and so on. Well, guys, I know. 
it needs a, ty a different type of support here uh, that's why it was done with those curved uh, areas uh, curved uh, cement blocks there but hey it is what it is we can't do everything even though after I managed to do uh, this entire area and I'm doing here a little crossing area so people can actually cross from the platform onto the um, onto the pathway it's, it's, uh, itself but I, I could have done something different and uh, Titan also has a um, platform that is working as a uh, network you will see it in a bit uh, I want to uh, uh, I want to finish this I, I wanted to finish this area here um, with uh, some proper glass little fences here people will not fall from the bridge and I also made that area for uh, the other overcross coming from the um, Accor uh, hotel uh, arena as well but these are okay so these are the platform that I was telling you about I can use these but I cannot color them they are very bright they I don't like I mean I prefer them more grayish and I can't do that so if I use those I could have used those actually I could have added like that I could have banned them as well on the opposite opposite uh, opposite side of the pathway itself and all those pillars could have made the proper work for this to re uh, resist but there was another thing that could have been uh, I didn't want to do I had to add a fence so people will not fall from there but I that could have been kind of very hard for me to um, to show you or to do not to show you to do it properly this is the passerelle See, it is curved like this a little bit on the ground and from the other side as well so these ones little pillars here are the ones that um, well, I don't know the words in English but these ones together with these areas are supporting the entire bridge and you know it's not falling into the river uh, this is the tunnel that I was telling you about this is a tunnel going uh, uh, under the uh, bridge and this area uh, which is continued with this uh, overpass here um, here in my game is we, we have these overcross the passage here uh, beautifully done um, the tunnel that I was telling you about we have the tunnel we have the other overcross going to the uh, arena itself here uh, going uh, where are these trees flying I don't know uh, this is the uh, skate park, the covered skate park, and whatnot, and the tunnel that I was actually uh, telling you about. Continuing now with the other side um, of the area near this part of the Bercy, well, the residential area, and we have also a very small shopping area there, which is very cool um, because it's quite interesting, and I will show you what uh, why it's so interesting. Anyways, it's a shopping area, very small shopping area with shops it's very fancy um, and uh, pretty interesting and then through the middle of it it's well it's a cobblestone area and also there is a very old like uh, looking like um, tram tracks or something like that uh, I don't know what was supposed to be here or what was here long long time ago and right uh, like in uh, in the other side of it it's uh, a mall a center a mall center there a uh, shopping mall for people to yeah do their continuing their shop uh, uh, shopping um, and uh, <laughs> maybe doing some stuff okay so this is the uh, the area the shopping area that I was telling you about it's very fancy and cool and with some balloons and lots of uh, restaurants and uh, pubs and whatnot with this cobblestone area and the tram that goes right through it uh, in the middle of it it looks like this from above and uh, that's where the uh, shopping um, the, the mall is uh, with, which has a nice entrance there uh, into the ground um, I'm not going to do this area as I was mentioning also earlier so this area not gonna see it here you are just going to see this continuing uh, area in today so yeah this is like squeezing this 
over this near part to perceive. It's like, it's like real life, <laughs> squeezing stuff. No, kidding. Um, so, guys, in this area now, we will, uh, I will fill the area with uh, lots of residential buildings, more modern one, because up until now, or at least most of my videos, uh, you saw me how I plop down the same of. Uh, beautiful old style old architecture building and uh, now it's time to go a bit more modern into uh, this particular area because also it's uh, like it's the same way in real life and we need to do it uh, properly because you know it gives a correct vibe and look uh, uh, like it's in real life so i found some really cool one made by um, i forgot their names but there are some good ones made by uh, Yogurt, uh, Los Gecko, and uh, Nati, something, something Nati. I forgot his name, I'm sorry. I don't remember the name. And um, right next to these residential buildings, some of them are actually super cool and luxurious. <laughs> there is a very old depot or warehouse area. Uh, these ones that I'm popping down. And uh, it's very, very interesting. I like the contrast uh, between all these kind of buildings. It's really, really interesting. And especially the fact that in front of these, uh, uh, or right next to these residential areas, uh, buildings, there will be another big, uh, huge depot area um, that I'm going to build for the rest of the video. So the second part of this video is going to be filled in with a lot of uh, procedural objects like crazy. Now I'm detailing, I'm showing actually a, a very small part of it. I'm trying to detail um, in between the buildings here and I made some, well, some interesting shapes to uh, cover them with the uh, ploppable grass, uh, cover them of course and uh, surrounding them with some uh, fences, uh, just adding inside some trees and that's it. Uh, uh, really quickly we've managed to do some uh, nice let's say nice um, uh, little parks green parks uh, with some benches as well and uh, just copying this in few places and then um, making new shapes and whatnot it's how we do this and um, yeah it looks pretty well so I covered the cobbles, uh, the area between the shops uh, that I was telling you earlier with cobblestone. I went through the middle of it with these uh, tracks. Uh, these are some uh, train tracks actually made by Revo uh, with uh, nothing else. It's like, well, they are not used, uh, working actually now. But it's there just to make them look properly like in real life because I, I, I kind of liked that vibe uh, given by them. And... Um, I added some little uh, trees with some planters there and little shops as well uh, covering the rest of the area with some trees and pavement adding more little restaurants, pubs and whatnot uh, in this particular area uh, a good uh, old looking um, fountain as well right in the middle um, and of course everything is going to be filled in with uh, some um, invisible pathways so to make uh, you know people actually do walk in between these uh, areas and uh, to get inside some of the buildings that are far from roads so yeah making everything uh, let's say functioning uh, as much as possible because it would be kind of uh, pity without uh, doing uh, this uh. okay Enough with the talking uh, uh, during the time lapse. This is how it, uh, everything looks after it was done, uh, finished. So we have here these uh, shopping, this shopping area with people actually do walking here. Um, I've been adding some, uh, how do you say it, uh, some uh, uh, invisible uh, parks to bring people actually here to gather people, invisible uh, pathways, uh, these little restaurants and whatnot cobblestone areas the tram tracks are ending here um, as, as I said uh, little uh, green areas parked in between the buildings to make them uh, more vibrant and full of life not just leave the concrete uh, and that's it um, this is the shopping mall uh, we have here the fountain. People do like to wash their feet in the fountain. I haven't done here the sunken. Uh, there is a, 
was an underground um, passage for uh, pedestrians, but I haven't done that. Uh, well, not now. Um, so yeah, this is uh, what I wanted also to show you. It is, well, actually this particular area from here. See, this area is done here, plus a few more buildings from here, mainly. So looking on the other side now, we have this uh, big, huge building called Minister del Interior. So it's like, uh, I want to say uh, interior ministry, <laughs> but it sounds very bad. No, it's uh, another ministry, right? Very next to it, uh, to the other one, to Ministry of Finan of Economy. And that one uh, particular building is like very interesting. It has like it's cut here. It's like straight ahead here. It's very curved in front. I, I have this also this strange um, side of the building as well. And we have a sunken, not a sunken, well, an area here because it's an elevated area for people to actually walk here. Cars are coming and stopping, probably leaving some stuff inside there. Who knows? Okay, so the long process has starting. I was thinking what buildings to use, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm using some office buildings made by Boldly uh, Boldly Build uh, Boldly Blink Building. I don't know, uh, something like that. He made some cool uh, buildings long, long time ago, and still look very good for time being. So I managed to put them like this in an arch. Yeah, in an arch um, shape. And behind, I added them again fifth, fifth times uh, right straight, putting them straight. And in this corner, I found another building uh, which has a, a shape like the one that I was uh, showing you on Google Earth and plopped it down again with procedure objects. Now, we have to kind of hide some of pa some parts of, from the roof there. So I'm using uh, Ronix's uh, roof surfaces, which are really cool and I'm gonna use them properly here just to get rid of the extra things that we don't want to see there and uh, things are gonna look much 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 better uh, with these palpable uh, surfaces so guys trust me procedural objects helps you kind quite a lot especially when you don't find something on the workshop uh, something that you need or you want you can kind of transform the stuff uh, by yourself so it is not uh, hard at all for instance here I had to use uh, to make that uh, another level so at plopable uh, as uh, pavement not asphalt I found some cool pillars made by Ronix and I modify them as I please I can make them bigger larger change the color I got rid of that extra metal uh, sewer there and or whatever it's called so I can I clean them up I make them like that and yeah easy peasy actually you know well even though i plop them uh, like this here uh, afterwards i just uh, modified them made them longer up until they was reaching the building um i'm adding here a barrier like um, a border for for this uh, elevated uh, area and voila things uh, started to look uh, quite good uh, if you ask uh, if you ask me uh, i took also a truck for um uh, good reason and that's because I wanted to see how high or um, low shall I plop that extra level cool this being said uh, now let's take care of the uh, upper side of uh, this area where there are lots of warehouses and depots some of them are abandoned some of them probably are still working I don't know um, but they are cool um, as a total look or an aspect of the entire area they look pretty interesting um, there is another road that is going just right under the uh, warehouse area i don't know what's there it's something very strange and fishy oh, no, i'm kidding i don't know uh, probably another big garage garage or whatever who knows but um, we have to do that uh, road as well um, and the entire area the upper area it will be kind of covered with plopable um, asphalt or whatever i need in order to you know cover stuff uh, but yeah mostly it's with uh, plopable asphalt i will add probably uh, some areas where i have to put some concrete or uh, something like this anyways um, if you think about it uh, you need to to apply some little tricks 
in order to achieve what you want to see so if if we look here uh this is the building yes so we have this road coming up here uh this is the the tunnel the, i don't know what is, what's there i'm curious of course so you can go uh down there with the with the with the car uh this is the upper <laughs> upper area uh, where are lots of warehouses and depots uh i see here there are some probably train tracks that are no longer used and uh, buses cars grass that is taking back the area yeah lots of containers traders well maybe not that many containers uh, uh vans and whatnot even uh, this abandoned uh, industrial building or whatever it's, it is i found something like that abandoned so things are kind of pretty cool because we find everything we need and again if we don't find what we need we create our own stuff okay uh now i think it's time to start adding more details and show you all these little details i've it for me it was super hard to cut this part of the video or lots of parts of the video it's super huge this i think is the longest episode up until now i, I wish i want to keep them longer but then it could be uh, 30 minutes or it's already too much so i'm trying to cut as much as i can even though i don't know from where to cut because i want to post and give you a not post to, to show you as much as i uh, do here it's it, it's sad to be lost right but hey, it is what it is, and probably I should I should do more episodes and shorter. Who knows? Uh, so I'm covering everything with, as I said earlier, probable asphalt. I found uh, these beautiful. Um, these are actually some tram depots made by Klaus. 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 Um, of course, turned them with procedure objects. Uh, we got rid of the uh, tram tracks from there. I'm adding my own doors um, for these. And uh, I made quite, I made them quite long, like like they are in uh, in uh, real life. Um, these beautiful doors, if you are asking yourself from where they are made by Revo for some train depots, of course. Uh, so you can use them separately as uh, because they are coming into a pack of props as well. <coughs> um, here on the side, we have to add more um, warehouses and whatnot. Some of them have different type of shapes. Some of them, well, we have to create the shapes. Um, but I, I've tried my very best to keep them, let's say, looking very similar to uh, how things are there in uh, real life. Even though right next to this area that we are building right now, guys, it's the um, Boulevard Peri Peripherique, I think it's called and uh, it's Bercy entrance or base Bercy gate actually it's a huge uh, interchange there <sighs> I can tell you that up now uh, I already started building it uh, it was a total fail I have to retake the entire build uh, <laughs> of that because I have to make it a tiny bit bigger due to some crazy and ugly um, looks for those roads because when you make sharp roads ah they look so bad so i need to make it a tiny bit uh, bigger in order to not have super sh uh, sharp angles and to make it more realistic and better uh, i added my own doors on these warehouses i'm adding another trailer here another truck trailer uh, for scaling because um, i want to add a retaining wall and another concrete probable concrete area there so you know when when you have to unload stuff from a truck you don't un unload them well you know on the ground level you need to uh, unload them on a higher uh, platform on a higher level you know it's easier so that's what i'm doing here too um, i'm adding here more some extra probable uh, pavement uh, at, at a higher uh, level as well because I'm doing a parking area uh, I saw some cars on Google Maps too which are parked right there uh, right there and um, yeah come on I, I'm really am happy with this uh, build that I've managed to uh, pull here to be very honest with you uh, okay let's uh, use some props also made by Revo these um, uh, rail yard props uh, to make that that lost not lost abandoned uh, 
rail tracks from um, from those depot that I showed you earlier on Google Earth. Um, I will add just a little uh, train uh, trailer on it. I will probably not probably. I'm going to add uh, more uh, decals on to the ground uh, to make it uh, look it's dirty it's old it's cracked all over there are lots of cracks there uh, very damaged uh, you know not like it's it was done yesterday it was uh, re-asphalted yesterday <laughs> we need to make uh, to make it look more uh, uglier even though if you ask me it looks 10 times better uh, than it was before thanks to these uh, beautiful decals uh, that gives you extra detailing uh, i'm adding some tufts little tufts uh, grass tufts here because you know um, they are growing through these uh, cracked asphalt and uh, it again it gives some extra good looking uh, thing um, now I'm looking for all kind of stuff that can fit here in this area, like uh, metal beams, rusty metal beams. Um, I found uh, an interesting uh, part of a train or a metro. I don't even know what that is. Um, so metal beam, more uh, metal beams as well. This one, I think it's vanilla one, but hey, it is for the looks. Uh, some dirt, some uh, different kind of things that you can find here. You know, you know, thrown here by by the workers or by those who are taking care of or were taking care of this long time ago i'm gonna add some cars as well like they are in real life uh, as we saw on google earth from above there even though i couldn't get to the ground level as i wished i wanted to do that but i couldn't do it, uh, it there is no possibility uh, the google car couldn't <laughs> drive right here uh, inside this um, area um, I will, uh, don't worry guys, even though it's a super long video, I'm going to show you in a very slow uh, motion, like a live uh, show from, uh, from, from my map, from Little France, because I want you, you to see w how things are looking like at the end uh, of this build, uh, with after, after, after I cut so many uh, parts of it from, uh, from the video, even though I'm so pity, it, it is pity. Uh, okay, um, I found another distribution center is called uh, made by i don't know who i think avania um, i'm going to put it on this side of the warehouse because you know trucks can stop there and unload load and unload stuff even though they are probably not used anymore these warehouses and depots i found the well i found i thought to add some concrete beams on the ground uh, round and square or rectangulars, whatever You know, it's like not there are abandoned or something, but I added there for the looks, you know, they are being left away uh, I have to admit it. I don't like that much these concrete overpasses So I I found some of them uh, some cool rubber overpasses made by Revo. I added them over these uh, train tracks I'm adding more damage decals here on uh, where the asphalt is ending so it won't look like it's like perfectly finished at the um, at the end at the sides on both sides there that's what I added those and of course uh, lots of other little details like little crates um, all kind of stuff I, I found in the workshop and I have them uh, I had and you can find also in a, a depot area, in a warehouse area. I'm starting adding them here and there um, to make it more realistic and good looking. I was thinking, hey, okay, we have this elevated area here, but what's above there? There should be some doors or something like that. So I'm adding some extra doors. I'm adding a wall because those doors cannot start and look like that. Uh, through a glass wall, I had to have had add a um, concrete one. Uh, probably, yeah, it is going to uh, fit uh, better. Cool. Uh, enough with the talking uh, for those, or enough of showing uh, the time lapse. This is the uh, abandoned buildings that I was showing you on the Google Earth. 
pretty cool. They are made by Spence. They are super good looking. I've been adding some more uh, train uh, trailers that look like they are abandoned here. Uh, more grass on the train tracks. Lots of stuff. I, lo I love these rubber crossings here. Uh, I'm adding, I added some cranes as well. Lots of little details that can make the difference uh, for our build uh, here, to be honest with you. Uh, these cars are actually uh, parked here for, for good. <laughs> they are not uh, manually added. And this is the area, you know, the loading and unloading area for, tr for trucks. Even though it's on the side and not, uh, the, the trucks cannot park with their back. Uh, more trucks parked here. And all the details, necessary details to finish this um, area. We have some stairs here, like in real life. Uh, we have this retaining wall, which is very tall. And well, here we will have the Percy, Bercy, not Percy, Bercy uh, gate. There will be a huge uh, interchange. Guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. We still have a lot of things to do here in Little France, but uh, thankfully we will get there very soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, leave a like. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I salute you.